Hey guys, my name is Ken. In this video, I'm gonna tell you everything about trading and investing with eToro. To help you get started, I'm gonna give you a handy guide to eToro interface as well as share my experience using this platform. Not gonna tell you only the pros but cons as well. After watching the video, you'll know for sure if this platform is for you or not. So let's make your first trade by trading the like button and invest in subscription to the channel. You're also welcome to support the channel, all the links are down in the description. What is eToro? Probably you know that you can trade or invest in eToro. eToro would describe themselves as an accessible social trading platform. It may also seem as Facebook for trading. They first went live in 2006 and now represent pretty large investment network with a community of 4.5 million users and 17 million users in total. The most unique feature of eToro is probably copy trader. This allows you to see other users trading history including how much they have made or lost over any given period of course if the account is public and if you find someone you like the look of you can allocate some funds to automatically copy their trades another big plus is popular investors program this rewards users based on how many copiers they have in the form of monthly commission so with the social and copying features you'll certainly learn a great deal relatively quickly most of the need to knows you'll pick up by watching this video or playing around with a 100k usd on a demo account on eToro just take it easier at the start and make sure you know what you're doing before investing larger amounts of money. Trading on eToro can be profitable but it's important to note that whenever you're dealing with the markets you can lose money too. To get started first you need to do is create your investing account. When signing up at eToro.com, no paperwork here yet, it's free and really straightforward Simply enter your details and choose a username. They ask for a phone number to protect your account security. You're not open an account, but to actually make trades, you'll be prompted to complete your profile. This is an important step to protect your account and tailor the eToro platform to your needs. The first part covers basic personal information. Next, there are a couple of trading experience questions. It's not a test, so don't worry too much about the answers. After completing your profile, you can deposit funds. The minimum you can deposit was usually $200, which is perfect for getting started, but it keeps changing from time to time. Note that eToro's main currency is USD. You can deposit in several major currencies, but it will be converted to USD in your account. Now, I'm gonna give you a very quick overview of the main sections of eToro so you get familiarized with the platform. On the watchlist section, you can organize the people and markets you're interested in copying or investing in. You can create multiple lists such as promising stocks or people to copy. On the portfolio page, the nerve center of your investment journey, here you can view all your open trades with live tickers and values and monitor your performance. On the news feed, this is just like your newsfeed on Facebook, where you can see everything the traders you follow have been doing and saying recently. Next is trade markets. This is the place to research and trade in the markets available to you. Stocks, for example, Apple, currencies like pounds, USD commodities like gold, and indices like S&P 500 and ETFs. Copy people is the heart of the community. Search through other traders who you may want to copy or follow. There are lots of useful filters to help narrow down the results you want such as markets and performance. Now that you're part of the community and have explored the site a little, I'm gonna share the main ways to invest on eToro with you. The first way is copying other good traders. I mean the feature of copy people. This is the simplest way to invest on eToro. When you copy someone, every trade they execute is simultaneously open in your account too and then closed when they close it. It's all proportional to what percent of your total account funds you choose to allocate to them, but ultimately you will achieve the same rate of return as they do. Finding reliable traders to copy on eToro isn't always as straightforward as it might appear. You need to know what to look for and what to stay clear of. Let me give you some tips on this. Try to avoid the most common mistakes. Number one mistake beginners make right away is that they blindly copy the traders from top results. In reality, most people on eToro are beginners and might not really know what they are doing. So it would be logical if you ask how to find the best traders to copy. First off, click on copy people on the eToro sidebar. You can either simply scroll down the page to see promising and trending popular investors or you can use the advanced search feature. Everything in blue you can change to meet the criteria you are seeking and potential traders to copy. Then hit go for a list of matching traders ordered by the number of copiers they have. 
To further drill down, use the filters at the top. Here are some attributes every trader you copy should have in my opinion. The first is that traders really demonstrate their market knowledge and experience on their profile feed, so make sure to read it. Second thing is that they have low weekly and daily drawdowns, basically how much they've been down over a given period. Anything more than 10% should be a red flag and you should think twice before investing with them. Another thing is that they don't have a ridiculous returns. I know this may seem like counterintuitive, but if you see someone with 1000% returns in a very short period of time, realize that this is just luck and no guarantee for the future. Next attribute would be that they don't have a 100% win rate. It's perfectly normal to close some trades in the red, this is a sign of discipline and experience. Beginners chase their losses, proper traders know when to cut loose. If you want to view a trader's past performance by clicking on the stats tab on your trader's profile, you can access some very useful information to help determine whether they are worth copying or not. There are two other key things to look at here. The risk score indicates how risky a trader is and the max drawdown shows the maximum a trader has been down in a single week during this period. Same idea for daily and yearly. It's interesting to compare current risk to past months to see how their strategy has evolved. Anything green shows a very safe, low risk, low return attitude. The spectrum then moves through yellow, orange, red and black where the risk is highest. I personally would steer clear of anyone with more than a 7, but it can be a good to have a mix of traders with different styles. It's all about diversification. So how to copy a trader? Copying itself is simple. Once you've found a trader who you feel is reliable, simply open their profile and click on the blue copy button. You'll then be prompted to enter an amount with which to copy that trader. You can also set a stop loss which means of protecting against heavy losses. Set a 40% by default, if the person you are copying loses 40% of your investment, your account automatically stops copying them. You can set this level to whatever you want depending on how much risk you are prepared to take. Another important thing to monitor your performance. Clicking on portfolio takes you to your open trades. This is the actual trading area and your nerve center. Here you can monitor all of your current open positions and close them and also access a record of your trading history. All of your copied traders and in fact any of your own investments will be listed in your portfolio. You can see your overall return on the investment in a trader and also click on that person to see what positions they and you currently have open and how these are performing individually. Usefully, you are able to close individual copy trades without uncopying a trader altogether. It's worth noting that you can also just follow traders without copying or investing in them, so their updates show up in your watch list and newsfeed. As with Twitter, it's a good way to gauge whether you think they are worth copying and tune into useful information. So this was all about copying people. Now we're gonna talk about trading well yourself. Once you've get acquainted yourself with the eToro platform and hopefully had some success copying other people, you can start thinking about placing your own trades. You need to think a bit harder and do your research, any shortcomings are squarely on you now. So which stocks should you choose? Well, that's totally up to you, I cannot offer specific investment advice. All I will say is that it pays dividends to do your research. Only invest in stocks or companies that you believe are in a strong and healthy position to resist market shocks and ultimately have room to grow. What I can do though is take you through the steps of placing a trade on eToro. So how to buy stocks and shares? Click on trade markets, then stocks, then industry. Choose an industry, for example consumer goods. You will then be presented with a list of all consumer goods stocks tradable on eToro, along with their respective prices and change over the past day. Let's pretend we want to buy some Apple stock, say $50 worth. Click on Apple, this is the ticker used for Apple on the stock exchange and you will first see the feed. This displays all the latest news and insightful discussions surrounding the Apple share price and the company's activity in general. You can click chart to display a chart showing the company's stock prices over the last year. You are able to change the period shown by zooming in and out. If you want to invest in Apple on the basis that you believe the share price will rise over the medium or long term. Click on trade in the top right corner. 
the minimum amount to trade is $50. Below this, you can set the amount at which you automatically want to close the trade for both loss and profit. Finally, take note of the leverage figure. The number refers to how much you can multiply your gains and losses of course, the higher the number equals higher risk. X1 is essentially buying the real stock. If you trade at X2, any price movement is magnified by 2, i.e. doubles. And it is traded as a CFD, contracts for difference. Here's a little disclaimer, 67% of retail investor accounts lose money when trading CFDs with this provider. You should consider whether you can afford to take the high risk of losing your money. CFDs are a type of leverage products that I do not recommend personally. Instead, I would concentrate on buying and holding actual stocks you own. Usually it can be automatically on X5, so for beginners, I would suggest click on the number and reducing it to X1. When you are ready, click set order, that's it, you are now invested $50 in Apple stock. To monitor your performance, remember, yes you are right, we are clicking portfolio to see your open positions. If you click, you can see more information. I'd like to tell you a little bit more about stop loss and take profit. So stop loss is a bottom price limit you can set to avoid you being hit too heavily by a plummeting price on a position. If the price happens to get this low, eToro will automatically sell, close your position to cut your losses, rather than chasing. Conversely, you can also set a price which will also trigger eToro to sell and close your position, but when you've made the return you were after. This is called take profit. In general, I would recommend to develop the discipline to let the markets take their course and be confident that over the longer term the value of your portfolio will rise. It's a strategy that has served me well and means I don't make spontaneous decisions just because a company released some bad news and the market overreach in the short term. Only once you really feel like you know what you're doing on eToro, I mean you've been actively trading for a few months, should you even consider trading indices, currencies and commodities. Because there is much more risk involved in these markets compared to stocks, so you gotta be really advanced here. And then you can become a popular investor. This program acts an incentive for users to trade responsibly and be an active part of the community. As soon as you start performing well on eToro, you'll notice other people will start copying you, of course if your profile is public. This is a really rewarding and exciting moment, allowing you to earn monthly commission as your copiers increase. It can take some time to build up your copier numbers, but it really isn't that hard to achieve so long as you make consistent solid trades. It also pays to be active in the community, posting regular updates, getting involved in discussions, and answering other people's questions all help get your name out there to attract interest. And one of the important topics is also understanding and reducing the costs. Just like any company, eToro exists to make money from providing a service. Primarily they do this by charging users a small spread fee on positions, which are outlined on the order windows. There's 0% commission though, so the costs of trading here are far less than traditional stockbrokers and fund managers. But I think there's more room to develop on this. Trading stocks typically have the lowest fees on eToro, which might be the reason of your sticking to this market when starting out. One way to minimize the spread fees is not to over trade. And it's also worth mentioning that if you become a popular investor, you can get a partial or even total rebate on these fees. The only other fee you will encounter on eToro is the withdrawal fee. It is flat and $5 if you want to transfer funds out of your account. So summarizing, I'm gonna tell you pros and cons. Pros include that eToro offers access to most popular stocks, ETFs, crypto and currencies. It also has a low minimum to fund an account and begin investing. It is a social trading platform where you are able to match moves of popular traders and they have a mobile app and website which are nearly identical, attractively laid out and easy to navigate but there are some issues I'm gonna tell you about this. Disadvantages include that some small cap stocks are absent on eToro so if you want to trade some small cap stock, uh, you just uh, type in the ticker but don't find it. Another thing is although it is free to trade, some of the spreads are fairly wide. And when you compare the real price and the price on eToro, it can be a little different and sometimes it has a wide spread. 
And the next thing is, actually this happens to the most trading platforms, it crashes during high market volatility. And you can't do anything with your assets. So I wouldn't recommend it for day trading or so. It might be good only for swing traders or long term investors with wide stop losses set. And the last disadvantage in my opinion of course, that customer support needs development. Let me know in the comments your thoughts on this platform. If you have any experience on your own, please share. I read all the comments and reply them. Here are more other videos about personal finance and investments. Make sure to subscribe the channel, like the video and hit the notification bell. See you in the next video.